Hey everybody, what an incredible Vision Sunday we experienced right here at SLFC this past weekend. Thank you for being with us in person or online, however you connected. We're so glad that you did. And we're trusting, believing God for new things. We know that he's up to good. He works all things together for that purpose, good, to those who love him and are called according to his purpose. And you know, we looked at the book of Haggai, this ancient story in the Old Testament, and how God's people, a small portion, a remnant, returned to Jerusalem from captivity in Babylon. Years and years they had been there, and now they're going back. And what they discover when they get to Jerusalem is that although they have returned, they can't go back because the past is behind them. What used to be is in their history. It's only a new thing that they can embrace and engage in. And so it is for the church today. We cannot return to church in person and move forward by embracing the past and what used to be because God is doing a new thing and we're ready to embrace it. Now, we look to the future with faith. And faith is the filter that actually informs our perspective. God is up to something good, and it's greater than what has been in our past. And that's exactly what he said to, uh, to Zerubbabel, to Joshua, and to the remnant of people. He said, be strong and do the work, for I am with you. My spirit remains, and what I'm doing now is going to be greater than what I've done in the past. And we believe that for Sugarland Family Church. We believe that for the kingdom of God. What God is up to now is greater than what he's done in the past. And you know, there's so many things that inform our perspective right now. The facts of what's happened, what we believe are perceived to be, you know, truth. But here's what we allow to form our perspective about the future, and it's faith. Faith, our belief in who God is and what his word declares, and that's what we embrace. Faith is the filter that informs our perspective. It's not about what we know, it's about who we know that determines our future. And we know that God is for us, and he's working all things together for our good. Think about the challenge that all of us worldwide has faced in this season, have faced in this season. We've been out of breath. We've been exhausted. And so many people feel that, like it, it's, a, it's a time of, of being tired and needing to kind of gather ourselves. And I get that. We all feel that in different ways. And think of being out of breath physically. That's been the experience of so many people that have struggled with, with, this, with this pandemic right, in a physical way, struggling to breathe. And then, and then emotionally, we've been out of wind. We've been winded emotionally because of all of the crazy that's gone on. And then certainly spiritually and culturally, we've been out of breath. And, and so our vision as we look to 22 is this, it's time to breathe again, to breathe again. And that begins with inhaling and then exhaling. And our vision is two parts. First is the church we're going to inhale. We're going to get filled up spiritually again and emotionally again. Our souls are going to take on the Holy Spirit and begin to heal again. And, and, and as we inhale the breath of God and the Holy Spirit, God's going to restore us. And so the first part of our vision for 2022 is we think about it's time to breathe again, is we're going to pray together. 21 days of prayer and fasting begin January the 9th. And then we're going to provide soul care to our church family because so many have experienced losses of different kinds. And we're going to help one another recover through soul care. And then we're going to identify our kingdom builders because God is building his kingdom always, even in this season, in new ways. God is expanding his kingdom. And so God has placed people in our house whom he's called to be kingdom builders, to resource the church, to expand and reach more people, and that's our purpose. And then we're going to teach the church to actually be the church because we don't have a square footage problem. 
in terms of having enough space to be the church. Yes, we're growing. Yes, we need to expand our building, but we don't think in terms of this single building being the church. We think about you. People are the church. And so wherever you are, the church is. And, and I love that because wherever you find yourself, God can use you to be his church and to expand his kingdom as you help one person at a time. In Jesus' name, we're called to be the church. So we're going to learn how this year. And, and then we're going to breathe out. We're going to exhale. And how are we going to do that? By continuing to pray together. But then we're going to welcome the stranger. And God has given us an incredible opportunity. You know, our, the eyes of the world has been on Afghanistan and all that's happened there in the past recent weeks and months. And it's just amazing to me that, that we have refugees that are being relocated. In the month of October alone, more than 200, less than 15 minutes from our church building, right here at 1110 Bernie Road, within 15 minutes of here, this past couple of months, over 200 people from Afghanistan relocated as refugees. And we're going to open our arms and reach out to them physically and emotionally and spiritually. We're going to welcome the stranger at Sugarland Family Church. And then we're going to lead the spiritually curious to Jesus because in times like this, people are looking for answers. They're looking for hope. They're looking for meaning in life. And Jesus is the answer. And so we're going to lead through things like Alpha in multiple languages, discipleship, and real answers for real questions and real problems. His name is Jesus. And we're going to give people the hope of the world in Jesus. And then finally, we're going to preach the gospel as the church in more than one language because our vision, our mission here is helping the nations find hope in Jesus, and yet we only preach the good news in English. This new year is a time to change that. We're going to broadcast to the ends of the earth in more than one language as we reach the world with the good news that Jesus is alive and he is the hope of the world. That's our vision as we look to the future. It's time to breathe again. Jesus breathed on his disciples, John 20, verse 22, and said to them, receive the Holy Spirit. That's what 2022 is all about for us here at Sugarland Family Church. Come on, fresh wind, the Holy Spirit at work in our lives to fill us up and empower us to be the church. And I want to close with this today. Here's what we have determined. We are prepared through the power of the Holy Spirit to do whatever we need to do, wherever we need to do it, if God is in it. <laughs>